Hello boys and girls, I am Ms. Moran. Welcome back to your math lesson. Today we will continue talking about 2D shapes. And first of all, I wanna review the name of the shapes and how many sides does it have and how many vertices, all right? So right here we have a square. Remember the square has four sides. It's one, two, three, and four. And it has four vertices. The vertices are the corners. I'm gonna point at them. That's one, two, three, and four. Remember the square, all of its sides are straight, but they are all the same size. And in real life, things that are shaped as a square are things like a slice of cheese. Okay, our next shape is this one. This is called a triangle. Remember the triangle has three sides. It's one, two, and three. And it also has three vertices or three corners. I'll point at them now. One, two, and three. And these are the real life objects that have uh, the shape of a triangle. Our next shape is gonna be the circle. All right, the circle has no sides, zero sides. And it also has no vertices, no corners. And here are some real life uh, things that are shaped like a circle, a pizza, the whole pizza, a cookie. All right, and now we're going to this shape. This shape is a rectangle. The rectangle also has four sides like the square. It's one, two, three, and four. And it also has four vertices like the square, which I'm gonna point at them, one, two, three, and four. Okay, the rectangle um, is different from the square in that the rectangle has two long sides, which are this one, this one that I just talked, this touch, this one, and then this one. And it has two short sides, which are right here, okay? And real life objects that are shaped like a rectangle are these pictures right here, like a dollar bill. This is a dollar bill. Okay, so we're going to our next shape. What is this? This one is an oval. The oval, like the circle, has zero sides and zero vertices. And some real life objects that are oval shaped are the egg. See that egg right here? Okay, so now that we reviewed our shapes, um, let's do an activity with the 2D shapes. Okay, so for today's activity, I wanna play a little game. We're gonna uh, try to guess what shape I am talking about, okay? So I'm gonna give you some clues and you're gonna try to think, what shape am I talking about? It could be any of the 2D shapes that we have gone over, all right? You ready? Okay, so this shape has uh, no sides, zero sides, and it has zero corners, okay? And it's curved, and it looks, it can look like a ball. What shape do you think I'm talking about? Zero sides, zero vertices, and kind of looks like a ball. If you said circle, then you are correct. All right, so let's go to the next shape. Okay, so this shape has three sides and three corners, all right? And um, kind of looks like a slice of pizza. Not the whole pizza, but a slice of pizza. Hmm. What 2D shape do you think I'm talking about? If you said triangle, you are correct. The triangle does have three sides and three vertices. Okay. On my next, the next shape, um, this one has four sides and four corners or vertices. And it has two long sides and two short sides. And some people may say that it kind of looks like a dollar bill. What shape am I talking about? Hmm? Think about that one. If you said rectangle, you are correct. Okay, our next 2D shape. This 2D shape has no sides and no vertices. So zero sides and zero vertices or zero uh, corners. It's also curved. The lines are curved around 
And some people might think that it looks, it's shaped kind of like an egg or an egg is kind of shaped like this shape. What shape do you think it is? If you say oval, you are correct. Okay, the next one, um, this shape has four sides and four vertices. The vertices are the corners and uh, all of its sides are the same size. And some people may think that a slice of cheese looks like this shape, a slice of cheese. What shape am I? If you say it's square, you are correct. Good job, guys. Okay, so this is the last shape I'm gonna talk to you about, or you're gonna try to guess. This shape has four sides and four vertices, four corners too. And a lot of people may say that that a diamond is shaped, is shaped like this shape that I'm talking about. Which one do you think it is? Rhombus, correct. If you say rhombus, you are correct. Good job. Okay, so now that we played that game, I want to talk about three new 2D shapes that we haven't talked about before. And so I want to show you a picture and talk about them. This first uh, shape that I want to talk about is called a pentagon. Pentagon. And a pentagon has five sides. Let me see. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. A pentagon also has five vertices or corners, and I'll point at them. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So this shape is called the pentagon. Can you say pentagon? Pentagon, good job. Okay, the next new shape I wanted to show you is the trapezoid. The trapezoid also has four sides, and I'll count them. One, two, three, four. It also has four vertices or corners, which are one, two, three, and four. This is the trapezoid. Okay, the last 2D shape I wanted to talk about with you today is called the hexagon. Hexagon? Can you say hexagon? Good job, hexagon. The hexagon has six sides. We'll count them together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And it also has six vertices or six corners, which are right here. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, five and six. So this is the hexagon. All right. So now that we went over those new shapes, I wanna show you what we're gonna do for homework today. Okay, boys and girls, for today's homework, it's gonna be very similar like yesterday's homework. Um, we're gonna be using 2D shapes to draw something. And today, yesterday we did a Christmas tree, but today I wanna do a truck or a car. So you can use all these shapes, you can move them around to make your own, um, either a truck or a car, and I'll just do like a really quick one um, for you. So, okay, so this could be like a little truck or if you want, or a little car, or if you want to make it a uh, lot, use this uh, rectangle, however you want to do it, but um, just try to make it look like a car or a truck. So that's going to be your homework for today. We're using uh, 2D shapes to draw something else, okay? All right, I hope you enjoy your homework and I'll see you tomorrow when we will continue talking about shapes. But this time, we're going to be talking about 3D shapes. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.